Hey there, it's Jen, and I wanted to share a quick story of an adventure that I had with my family this past weekend out on our sailboat. So let's start with this. Did you know that humpback whales are about 60 feet long? So a grown humpback whale, that would be a large one, 60 feet long, and they can weigh up to 80,000 pounds. Now, 80,000 pounds is difficult to wrap your head around, but I looked up on good old Google and I found out that the biggest semi truck, so think of a semi truck in your mind. Now, the biggest semi truck weighs 80,000 pounds. So, an individual humpback whale can weigh up to the same amount as a massive semi truck and can be 60 feet long. These animals are incredibly, incredibly huge. And right now, where I live, just in Sitka Sound in Alaska, the humpback whales are feeding like crazy. Why? Because this time of year, this beautiful, incredible time of year when it begins spring and we start to get all sorts of herring, these tiny little fish come into the sound and it is a feeding frenzy for the humpback whales. So we love this time of year because the ocean absolutely comes alive. Birds, seals, sea lions, whales. It's incredible, like seriously, seriously incredible. Plus, we've just come through a lot of darkness and a lot of rain, and we're happy to see more sun and more warmth here. So this past weekend, my family and I headed out on our sailboat. We've got a 38 foot steel sailboat that we sometimes go out on adventures for as much as a couple months at a time. We went out not far from our home, but just across the sound to where we knew that the herring would start to be pooling up and we might see a lot of wildlife. So we anchored our boat and in the evening, all these humpback whales started to surface around our boat. We were like, wow, this is incredible. We feel like we're in National Geographic. This is the coolest thing that has ever happened in the world kind of thing. And after a bit of the, watching these humpbacks, you know, diving and just in absolute joy, just feeding their bellies with tons and tons of herring, I'm sure, we saw these humpback whales lunge feed right next to our boat. And I'm I kid you not, it was right next to our boat. Now, it is both terrifying and absolutely awe-inspiring to see this. Terrifying because when you have a whole bunch of 80,000 pound humpback whales, you know, focusing on eating right next to your sailboat, what if they slip up and they happen to land on your boat? That could be kind of dramatic and terrifying. But I've been around these whales long enough to know that as long as we're respectful and we don't, you know, approach them, they are incredibly wise and they know where boats are. They know how to avoid boats and they, they don't want to have problems. So I want to talk a little bit about what lunge feeding is because it's really, really cool. And I think you're going to enjoy hearing this. So humpback whales, they do, they, they are fishing animals. Like they actually fish for the herring. They will do, I don't, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert, but this is just what I know is that they will sometimes do what's called bubble feeding, bubble net feeding, where they create, they work as a team and they, they create a net around these school of herring with bubbles that they blow from, from their lungs, you know, air coming out of their lungs. They blow and create these bubbles that net the herring together into a ball. And then they cooperatively can lunge forward and scoop the herring into their wide open mouths and then gobble them up. But we were, where we were anchored in our sailboat, it was in about 60 feet of water. So not very deep, right? And remember how long I said that the humpback whales are? They can be as much as 60 feet long. So when you think about that, if they 
were lunge feeding, meaning they were coming up to the surface, scooping up these herring, um, you know, coming up vertically with some speed, with open mouths to scoop up these herring, how could they stand upright in the same depth of water? So what we figured that they must be doing is cooperatively seeing the herring underwater and then from all different directions, swimming quickly toward the herring, pooling them up, and then having some sort of communication that says, okay, hey, it's time to head upward and thrust our bodies up toward the surface of the water, scooping up the herring without colliding into one another. Can you imagine if these semi-trucks decided to go in a circle and then all drive at a quick speed toward one another and then at the last moment, kind of like chicken, say, okay, swerve off to the left, you go right or whatever. But then these humpback whales come careening toward each other and then swoop upward and move vertically through the water with their mouths open scooping up all this incredible herring. So cool. So, so cool. So I wanted to share that story with you because I know that you probably don't have that experience in your life. I have the experience. I feel like I can, you know, be a storyteller from Alaska, bringing a cool story into your life that might brighten up your day and help you enjoy this incredible spring weather um, that hopefully you're having wherever you live. And if you like hearing stories like this and you'd like to hear more of little tidbits of my life here in Alaska, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on the video. I'm going to probably post this audio on YouTube or hit reply on the email. Let me know you like it or If you just want to hear stuff about healing, then that's cool too. But I thought maybe it might be interesting for you to hear this story. I told a couple of friends and they were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You need to share that story with more people. And so I'm sharing it with you because you are my dear subscriber and I'd love to get to know you more. Okay, have a beautiful day and I will talk to you again very soon.